not every mowing job requires the same size machine. Sometimes you need something that's a different size to get the job done. going on today guys sometimes you just need a push mower <laughs> um, this is actually a self-propelled mower I've had several of the uh, old generation of this particular mower along with a lot of other push mowers that I've used in my business along for you know other things and then you know to mow smaller areas or to get into fences or or to get on areas that the uh, big mowers will just tear up but we're going to step through and review a few things on this new 2020 Honda here, so stay tuned. Alright, one of the first things you notice about this one over the older models is it's got a new slightly larger engine. The old one I think had a 190, but Honda always makes a pretty good uh, dependable engine. This is not the commercial model motor that they, they have, the GX, but still a, a real dependable good torque always there when you need it and also you'll notice that this particular one it's a plastic deck on it think of it kind of like a football helmet I've had several of these and we've used them in a commercial environment back when I moved more grass I had a few of them at one time and I never had any issues with the deck we had a few other minor little things go on with this but for the price this I think this thing will run you about 700 bucks um, it's, it's a good commercial option uh, if you don't mow a whole ton with a push mower and it's just an excellent homeowner mower. Step into a couple of features on his back. System under here, this blade will hit it first and knock a little bit off the top and then this one will hit it and it will also probably help you in a mulching situation. These mowers get a real clean cut. Thing I like about shot of the twin blade you'll see that the drive systems redesigned on this one um, it's got this dial uh, I got stuff in my hands here and you can set that at your speed and when you push the thing down that's as fast as it'll go but what I like to do is set it at max and use my lever here it's kind of like a gas pedal the further you push it down the faster it'll go I've always liked on Honda's how they're uh, handle is designed instead of being a straight handle that comes out and then goes across it comes up so this makes the handle kind of shorter and gives you a little different leverage to push down on the thing to turn it around so it also has the blade clutch and you would push this button in and then pull back your bail while it's running and that way the motor is running and you can let go of it and the motor continues to run but the uh, blade stops turning pretty handy uh, thing there it's got a pretty good size bag on it and let's see if I can get this in action but there's a lever on it that closes this off so you can go to full mulching and open it up or leave it halfway or whatever to uh, adjust how much you want to put in the bag if you want to discharge you just uh, leave that down and it discharges out the back. But there's the uh, lever that adjusts your mulch closure setting. I think that's a neat option. It's pretty much Honda's the only one I've seen that on. Again, the plastic deck's super tough. One thing I don't like about it is you know, a mower in this price point, you have to independently adjust the mowing height for each wheel in a homeowner setting. That wouldn't be that big a deal because you pretty much set it once and you're done. But going from turf type to turf type in a commercial setting, having to go to each wheel and change it out is a little annoying. And the older models, I don't know if there's any improvement on this one or not, but the biggest problem we had with these mowers when we ran them a lot was we run the tread off the tires and have a uh, bald tires and then it didn't grip very well in its self-propelled mode because the tires were so worn out and also on the older ones i don't know if this is any beefier on this this might be a little little beefier setup but on some of the models 
these would bend and the wheels would be all twisty and, and everything. But overall, pretty cool. We'll crank it up. Let you see it in action. This thing's pretty simple. I like how the uh, pull starts right up here. You just put it in a run position. Your blade clutch. Measuring the uh, height of the actual blade edge to the ground is a little over three and a half inches on this. The settings say four, but three and a half is acceptable for fescue, so it, it, it will get high enough. Normally what kills a push mower, a self-propelled mower, in a commercial setting is transport because, you know, they, they don't have a brake and so they, they uh, roll around on the trailer. I have this, uh, I can get it in there. this boot right here that I put mine in so it doesn't, doesn't go anywhere in the trailer. So that kind of saves it. All right, overall, I think the, uh, the little Honda HRX217 is a pretty good uh, mower for light commercial use and they're lightweight. The Honda mower is pretty dependable, The it's made up nice, it's very ergonomic and maneuverable. And uh, the twin blade cutting with the mulch sh shut off thingy deal, it's pretty versatile and makes it where you can use it in a lot of settings. And it's a pretty handy mower to use. Commercially wise, you know, you, you can get the uh, HRC and uh, when, when I had that, uh, at twice the price of something like this i don't know if it's really worth the value because as far as mowing grass it won't do anything that this one won't do and it, this one is much lighter and easier to use so uh it get, got used more um the hrc is a, a heavy boy so anyway that's the honda <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs>